Today, today is a is a special one, y'all. It's like um, uh, for for many reasons, but it's not gonna be an easy one um, because I got so much to talk about. I actually haven't even shared this with anybody, really. I mean, not even you know the crew. I came in, you know, today is kind of quiet, um, and just because there's you know so much going on in the world, and I had a, I had I had a tough, very tough weekend. Um, but it's like you know, before I even get into why, I always you know we go to the pick of the day. And I got to show, this is the pick of the day of my youngest son, Zen Scott Cannon, right there. Um, So, um, probably uh, before the show started in the summertime, um, Zen was born uh, in June, uh, on June 23rd, actually. And, it was, you know, it was a great day. You know, as y'all know, I got a lot of kids. Uh, and so, and Zen's my, Zen's my youngest, and it was, so, it was so exciting. And I got, you know, I did the introducing Zen photo, and, um, you know, so during the summer, it was, it was really exciting. But I always noticed, like, yeah, as he got a little, one month was great. By the time he got two months, he was just, like, the most loving. We called him Z chilling. He was just always smiling, all, like, always having uh, just the most beautiful spirit. But I always noticed he had, like, a little, like, to me, it felt like a sinus thing. It was like a cough. Uh, and I just wanted to check it out. You know, sometimes, early on, we thought, because, you know, babies get fluid in their lungs and stuff. So we thought... You know, he'll cough it out, and that's what they would say. But he always had this real interesting breathing. Uh, and then, I, like, by the time he was two months old, I, I, I noticed, like, he's just the cutest little boy. He has these, like, big eyes. I also noticed, like, he had, like, a, a nice size head. He had, like, a, I call it a cannon head. Like, all, like, all my kids got really nice round heads, <laughs> you know, like, rock, roll, golden. Everybody had, like, even me, I had, like, a real, like, cabbage patch kid type of head so we didn't think anything about it he had a normal yeah he had a normal cannon head uh, and but I really wanted to you know take him to the doctor to get the the breathing and the sinus things checked out so we thought it would be you know um, a routine um, process and um, we went in just to check his sinuses and they, they actually said his sinuses were pretty cool but then by the time we found out that he had an, another condition uh, and I think it was called, uh, if I'm not mistaken, but it was like where it was fluid that was building up in his head, and that was the cause of his head was starting to get big. And, it, and when we found out it was more of a, they called it like a, a, a malignant tumor in his head. Uh, and so immediately we had to have surgery, it was brain surgery. We put a shunt in his head, and we were hoping for the best. And, you know, the shunt would go down. It was like a tube that would go inside and drain all of the fluid out so his head would be normal and uh, you know he would be able to function but then the doctors were concerned and when I say I have to thank all of the doctors at uh, the Children's Hospital of Orange County Chalk out there they were the beautiful nurses the people uh, <laughs> Trinity the hospice care all of those people uh, they've been so and they were really educating and kind of letting us know everything that was going on so we were we were faithful and, and hopeful for that time and then it you know it was carried on he was still just Playing with all his brothers and sisters, we got to get an opportunity. I just took, I embraced every moment because you know something like that, you know, uh, that, yeah, that was even them like with all the other kids and like I just got an opportunity to try to spend as much time and I really want to say uh, I'm so grateful to my entire family for coming together during this time and being so loving and not judgmental of me or any of those things. And I really have to say uh, Zen's mom, Alyssa, was, Alyssa was just ama like the strongest woman I've ever seen because she never had an argument, never was angry, you know, was emotional when she, she needed to be, but was always the best mom and, and continues to be the best mom possible. So I gotta say thank you to my entire family, but specifically to Alyssa. And the, so uh, Thanksgiving, you know, because uh, up until then, he was just like all my other kids, just loving and fun. And, but Thanksgiving, we had an a, a interesting turn, and the process sped up, 
you know, and, and ultimately if anybody knows how cancers were, it, it was cancer in the brain. Uh, and the, the tumor began to grow a, a lot faster. And so we knew that the time was So uh, this weekend, you know, I made a, a valid effort to, to spend the most quality time I could spend with Zen. And um, we woke up on um, Sunday. Got to spend, I just got to spend, you know, the weekend with them, spend the night, and we woke up on Sunday, and I was like, I just feel like I want to go to the water, you know, and close to the ocean, and you know, we kind of got a chance to go to the to the ocean. And usually on Sundays, um, I kind of handle everything I had to handle with the family, and then I fly back to to New York. I rush back so I could be here for you all. And so, you know, but I wanted to make sure that, you know, I had allowed the sun to rise and, you know, kind of hold my son. Um, and in the happened, happened, happened the last, oh, holding my son for the last time. But it was still, it was a beautiful setting to, and even to spend that whole day was interesting because even as I was holding them, I still, you know, I was still preparing my day as it normally went to come back and, you know, come here and still, I didn't know what it was going to be, but I just, but even by the time I got in the car and was headed to the airport, I had to turn around. And, I turned around and I, not only did we get to see the sunrise, but we got to see the sunset too. And uh, I didn't know how I was gonna handle today. I didn't know how, but I, I just really wanted, you know, the, I wanted to grieve with my family. You know what I mean? There's no, the people who love you. And I didn't, I didn't want to make it about any pageantry or any of that type of stuff, so I, it kind of went back and forth for what I should do, but I felt like, it, you know, uh, I, I was always talking about you don't just go through it, you grow through it, you, you keep pushing, you know what I mean? And I, I have so much faith in the Lord, I have so much faith in God, and I never, I never, you know, people were often telling me I should pray for miracles, and I did pray for the miracle. I prayed for the miracle of God's strength, and that's why I'm here with you guys today, because... I know, you know, he, he puts the, the most and heaviest weight on the shoulders of his strongest soldiers. So I'm here to show that I can fight through this. I'm feeling it. I'm vulnerable. I'm open, y'all, yeah, but I'm going to make it through. And this is a special show dedicated to my beautiful son, <laughs> Um, Dr. Laura Berman is here. Y'all know she's my daytime therapist. She has helped me with so many things and so many areas in my life. And Dr. Laura has also dealt with some similar situations in her own life as a parent. So I didn't, she's the perfect person to talk to. She's here today. I know so many people out there have experienced the kind of pain and grief that I'm experiencing right now. We all know it. This is that time to say you never know what somebody's going through. Hug your people, hug your family, kiss somebody, tell them you love them. It's the holidays and we're here. We'll be right back.